Now to welcome Phil, Phil from Curve. He's going to show you the innovation I was talking to you about earlier. It's a really cool product, so uh, enjoy. Good luck, Phil. Thank you. Um, good morning, and I hope you're all enjoying TCF 2016. I'm actually not from the banking world. My, my background is in digital marketing. And in um, 2006, we started working for electronic money issuers, particularly around the prepaid space. So products with general purpose reloadable, um, remittance, uh, travel, things like that. And we had the opportunity of working with some new payment innovations as well. But to cut a long story short, we got really frustrated because we just felt a lot of them weren't really fulfilling their potential. And we felt that the only way to kind of address this was to come up with something ourselves. And so that's really uh, the start of the journey of Curve. They say a picture says a thousand words, so I'd like to take a couple of minutes to show you a video that explains what Curve is all about. There are times when carrying a wallet or purse is impractical, uncomfortable, or just a little bit risky. So we made Curve, the world's first contactless payment ring. Now you can leave all this at home and still pay for stuff with a single gesture. No pin or paired smartphone required. You can use Curve to make instant payments anywhere that displays the contactless payment symbol, which, at last count, was over 38 million locations worldwide. Engineered from Zirconia Technical Ceramic, Curve is hypoallergenic, nearly as scratch resistant as diamond and waterproof. And unlike power-hungry smartphones or smartwatches, Curve never needs charging. But there's more to Curve than just payments. If you're in London, you can simply tap in on buses and on the underground, avoiding card clash and that frenzied search of the barrier for your ticket or Oyster card. You can also store contact details to share with friends or colleagues at the tap of an NFC-enabled phone. And you can even use Curve to operate an NFC door lock to access your home or office. Curve, the world's first contactless payment ring. So uh, these are them. You're welcome to come and see them afterwards. Um, we felt the time was right to move into contactless payments. In, uh, at the London 2012 Olympics, we had Barclay Card and Visa were both heavily promoting contactless technology. After that, we've had MasterCard and Visa on the acquiring side, really pushing the real estate, which has dramatically increased the number of outlets that accept contactless payments. We also had the, um, the massively hyped, um, sorry, the uh, heralded arrival of Apple Pay, along with um, Barclay Card, BPay in the UK, which has really done a lot to promote the idea of payment with non-traditional card formats. In the UK, we had the rise in contactless limits, and a combination of all these factors has really led to a growth in, exponential growth in the number of contactless transactions particularly amongst the kind of younger audiences. But we just felt that the implementation of wearables was pretty poor and we thought we could do something better. And our thoughts were very much focused around the user. What does, that, what does the user really want from a, from a payment device? And we think that some of those considerations are applicable to a lot of financial services providers. So for example, if you're a new entrant, how do you battle against the giants of the banking world? Um, there's a few, you know, maybe like the, the, the mobile wallets that may be able to kind of tackle this, but they've still got to address the apathy of uh, a card in our wallet, which most of us have got, and frankly, you know, just, it just works. And for the banks, you've got the problem of how do you attract younger audiences for whom ease, speed, and desirability are actually key influences in, in what products they use. So how do you compete with those cooler brands that are out there? And that's where we think Curve comes in and where we can help you. I said that we thought about the user and what they really want from a product. And we think they want a product that they can use easily and simply. So with Curve, there's no need to worry about charging it or looking after it. You know, whether you're at work, in the gym, on the beach, you can wash your hand, you can go in the shower. You've got a device that's always on, it's always reliable, and it's always dependable. But because of the added functionality around the kind of the transport and access, we think we've got a device that genuinely makes people's lives easier. So the question is, how does this help you guys in the room? You know, what can we do for the banks? Well, as a bank, you can really own a contactless experience and an exciting new form factor that appeals to a newer, younger demographic. 
You can also own a higher level of engagement with the curve ring by provisioning it to your customers' accounts. So no longer are you competing to be top of wallet because we bypass that. You're looking to facilitate engagement 10 or more times a day um, with a device that currently includes transit and access, but in the future will give you access to music stadiums, sports stadiums, uh, provisioning your hotel room key, access to your vehicle, even authenticating your Internet of Things devices in your home. So aside from the financial gain around the kind of the increase in payment transactions, we believe you're gaining a much higher stickiness um, with your brand, which really acts as a stepping stone to introducing your other services and products to customers. So how can we do this with Temenos? At the simplest level, this is about provisioning another form factor um, to an account. But we can do more bespoke integrations as well. We can deliver integrated loyalty apps on the ring or other um, you know, bespoke applications as you wish. So that's pretty much me done. Um, looks like I'm going to finish early. Um, I'm going to be around later. My colleague, uh, Neil, is also with me if you want to come and talk to us. Um, we're delighted to be on the Temenos marketplace at the moment. Um, and uh, finally, I think um, thanks go to Temenos for organizing a great event, and we're delighted to be here. And um, one final comment, please don't forget to vote for us. Thank you. <laughs>